Hi there. So I had someone comment that they would love to see um, my review of the little palette I created back in the summer. Uh, if you recall, and I'll put the, the video um, link up at the top, I made a little palette of watercolors out of this gift card. And I won't move this about too much because the light keeps catching it. This little gift card container from Curry's. Um, and there's so many other containers that you could use. I have um, this one waiting in the wings. I think it was for uh, earplugs. And that could be kind of interesting container for um, primaries and, and a couple extra um, colors. So that might get used soon. And I also have this little tin that was um, given out from CBC uh, Radio Show in Toronto. And this has, and you'll see, I haven't really been using them, so I didn't realize how little. So right away, I can see that this didn't work. These are gouache inside, and I'm not sure if I put water on them, if they're still good. So yeah, you know what? It still works. So not a total fail. Anyways, I haven't really been using that, but I have been using this. Bit of a pause there because um, I didn't want you to hear my cat being sick in the background. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. So I have been using this a lot all summer, in fact, and into the autumn. And I just have some, a little bit of a review of it. It's worked a treat because it is so small and it's so light. Inside, I have these little um, paper palettes that I got, um, I bought the palette sheets for uh, oil painting, but they work well here. And I keep some in the back, new ones of back of my sketchbook to use to replace them. And there's my little card of all the colors that I have. And as you can see, the buff titanium has got a lot of use. I put on, um, this is a mix of Daniel Smith, uh, Windsor Newton, Schmincke, especially their granulating uh, greens, uh, Da Vinci, and um, Van Gogh, and Sennelier, one Sennelier. And they've been really working really well. I have all the colors that I need for mixing uh, this was a bit of a fail, <laughs> as everyone's pointed out. I should have used uh, spray paint, which I would have gone to first. But as I said in the previous video, we just moved and I got rid of all my spray paint. I always had white and black on standby in the basement. Well, we don't have a basement anymore, so things had to get cut. But these, these really do work and you can throw them out when they become uh, too difficult to work with. But I, I still like, I've been using this for a long time now. So I'm not chucking it out after every painting session. Now I will say, as you probably know, um, you do get different quality if you're using um, water brushes. And for some reason, I can't find mine. There. So this one's a Dessert one. Um, Dessert is a art supply store in Canada. And it, it's pretty good. But, you know, if you want to carry something light, this is the best combo. Uh, if you don't mind a little bit more weight, I would recommend using um, travel brushes with you. And that one should have, that one's from a, a set, so it doesn't have, it's not really a travel brush. And I also have, and I'll put um, 
a link to my other video about what I carry when I'm out. Uh, this little water container is fantastic and it sits really well and it hasn't leaked yet. So that's pretty good. And I got that off of Amazon, but there are lots of containers out there. There's speciality containers um, from different companies like Whiskey Painter and Fome from Italy. And um, there's Schmincke does one of those palettes that have the water and Windsor Noon um, have a water vessel incorporated in the palette, but then that starts to get heavy. So you can really tell the difference. The colors are much more vibrant when you use brush and water as opposed to a water brush. But if I'm going somewhere and I'm not sure if I'm going to use my sketchbook or not, it's much easier just to carry this. And I also carry this. You don't have to. Uh, this has, this was a bag for uh, Turner uh, Japanesque gouache paints. And I've just been using the bag since I got it. I have a proper uh, sort of travel bag for pencils and pens, but this has been great. I just tie it up, it's ready to go. And it's still pretty, pretty small. The um, travel one that I have takes up a bit more space. It's like that. Again, I have that video where I talk about it. Uh, this is from Jackson's in the UK. And honestly, I really didn't use this much this year. I used it last year, but I've been using this and using this. And I've been using these little Stillman and Burn sketchbooks because again, they're really small, really light, and they can go into my purse. Like I have a very, very small purse and this all fits. So there's no need for a special bag. So these are ones that I started doing around my neighborhood when we moved here. And it's been really handy and nice to be getting to know this neighborhood again. Uh, I grew up in Toronto, we, we left for a few years, but you know, things have changed around this area and near the big uh, market area and there's always something going on. There's always, there's a lot of old buildings. Uh, this is a great little bottle shop in our area. And there's always something to do. And there's people, you know, an orchestra playing down the street from me. So I've just loved coming back to the city. It's just been great. And this is one way to really celebrate the summer, the neighborhoods, my welcome back to it. Uh, this is the, so that one was the Epsilon series. That's not as thick as the Beta series. And I'm going, and the Beta series is uh, cold press watercolor paper. So it's a lot thicker. And the Zeta, series is um, a hot press version. So I have that, I bought that recently and it's there for when I need it. Now there's a lot less, a lot less sketching outdoors. It's pouring rain here in Toronto right now. Um, but I have been going indoors. I went to Union Station the other day and painted there inside where it's, you know, it's pretty safe. It's a big open area, um, covered open area, obviously, but that's just a little tour of my summer and my fall. This was when I was over on um, the island across from the city. You get a great view of the city from there. Um, 
this is my third one now and there's the union station from the other day here i am just trying to juggle everything on my lap um while sketching inside union station there's that that picture you just saw in my sketchbook that i'm just adding um watercolor to from this little palette It's pretty hard, hard to juggle um, the iPhone and all these um, art supplies at the same time, but made it work. And it was just nice to get back out and sketching um, after a few weeks of it being too cold and COVID and all that. Um, I used my Kaweco fountain pen with um, the the Adermentis, um, in, I think it's just brown. Just look here. I love these inks because they're the document ink, um, Urban Sepia, which is, uh, water resistant, but can still go in a fountain pen. So it's really, really nice. And I buy that at Lay Wines in Toronto. just and sitting in the parks we have some beautiful parks around and this is down beaches near where i grew up and then little bars and restaurants around us and this is fantastic nobody sees me really using it um, I'm not being sneaky about or self-conscious about sketching out in public, but it is nice that I can do it without spreading all my materials around. So all I'm going to say is that if you want to have something handy and you don't want to fork out extra money, you already have tubes of paint. I didn't buy anything for this. Um, I had these little quarter pans that I got by mistake from a company when I, I wanted half pans and I just used uh, magnets on the back and that works really well. It's better than some of the palettes where I've done that because the bottom is flat and that's it. It was cheap. I looked at... Um, a palette about this size and it was I think $30 and I why not recycle something like this is pretty good tin for just housing a gift card so it had to be put to use and I love it I will be using it even in the winter and then once spring starts I'll be back out there sketching in the outdoors. Thanks so much for listening. Okay, bye.